Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Javon Keyes. Let's start off with some news from the markets. Trading ended today with banks and Cambio selling the US dollar for an average $156.11. The going rate for the Canadian dollar is $117.07. The pound is selling for $197.44, while the euro ended trading at $173.24. Now to some news from the NCB Financial Group. It is discontinuing its widespread work from home arrangements and associated benefits. This reflects the ending of the flexible work arrangement instituted by one of the country's largest banks due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Our news centre obtained a copy of an email sent to staff outlining that the current work from home arrangement enjoyed by employees in the NCB Financial Group will come to an end on February 1. The notice says the transition back to office requires all team members who can be accommodated to return face to face five days per week. It says, however, divisions or business units with space constraints will see staff returning to office on a phased basis. The proposed rotation will see these team members spending three days days in office and two days working remotely. The business day was told that a number of NCB staff members were not pleased with the announcement as some employees tailored their living arrangements to the work from home flexibility. Staff members who spoke with us also indicated that this will put a dent on the finances of some as a remote work allowance was paid to staff members. With this benefit being removed except for instances of special approval, some employees will see up to $50,000 or more which they've been receiving from for almost three years being no longer added to their monthly pay. Our news center was reliably informed that the NCB Financial Group could save about $600 million with the removal of this benefit. NCB says the decision to end the work from home arrangement was made after careful consideration and was done in a bid to strengthen collaboration and interactions across teams. Vice President in charge of Group Human Resources Dr. Hoplin Hines confirmed the decision made by the Financial Group. National Commercial Bank Bank, Jamaica Limited and our Jamaica based subsidiaries will be transitioning back to an in office model. We're starting off on February 1, 2024. Approximately 60% of our admin staff had been working remotely since March 2020 with the full support of the organization. The transition will happen on a phased basis and considerations will be given to staff members who may need to continue availing of a hybrid arrangement until they're able to return to office full-time. Corporate firms and governments over the last year and a half especially have been phasing out work from home for staff. Earlier this week in the United States, some government workers in Washington, D.C. were informed that come March, a number of office workers will only be allowed to work remotely once per week. These decisions also come on the heels of work from home research done by Stanford's Institute of Economic Policy and Research, which says there is about a 10 to 20 percent decline in productivity for fully remote workers. The JC index lost 1,307 points today, while the junior market index gained 27 points. The winners were led by MFS Capital Partners, Margar Margaritaville Turks US dollar shares, Margaritaville Turks ordinary shares was next, AMG Packaging and Paper Company and Consolidated Bakeries Jamaica. The losers included Indus Farmer Jamaica, MPC Caribbean Clean Energy, Jamaica Stock Exchange JSC, Palace Amusement Company and 138 Student Living Jamaica. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Javon Keyes. Good evening.